scoop is that we went down to San Jose to set up a camera. Big Dave Meltzer is moving to video. We cleaned up the office and we what? set up the cameras. Okay, oh, yeah. this I want video of. Because you've all seen the New York Times photo of mm -hmm. Dave's office, right? The photo from where Dave sits looking the other way was Even way worse. worse. Yeah. Way worse. Okay. Makes sense. The only Dave story that I want to tell from this weekend, there were many, many stories. Don't get me wrong. I said, what do you want to eat? He goes, well, you know, let's let's go to uh, this Santana Row. They got everything there. You know, we go to this place. Oh, it's going to be an hour wait. Okay, skip that. We'll go to the next place. Eh, it'll be about a 90-minute wait. Skip that place. So we're just striking out left and right. And Dave goes, doesn't look too busy here. Let's, let's go try this place. And Dave's looking at the menu, and he goes, I don't understand any of this. This is a Mexican restaurant. And he goes, I hate Mexican food. So literally, we got up, and we just walked out. There's a Chinese restaurant up the road. And all of a sudden, he goes, actually, you know what? Uh, right over there, if we just walk a little further, there's a couple of restaurants. I'm sure we can find something right there. So we start walking, and we've, we've gone a half mile. And all of a sudden, you want to know what he says? Let's go to Qdoba. Oh, my gosh. Qdoba. So, in fact, it, specializes in burritos. We ate at Qdoba Mexican Grill. <laughs> I thought, okay. Tony's heard this criticism of, of how Rampage is a total B show, kind of a C show. He's going live four weeks. Like, shit's going to change. That's what I thought. You would think. Bro, I watched this show, and, I mean, at best, at best... It was a C show and probably closer to a D show. It's almost like a Christmas show here. Well, it is the Christmas or the, uh, have I been drinking? <laughs> Who am I, Vinny? You are Bodie Hayward. That's right. I am Bodie Hayward tonight. I honestly wasn't even going to bother. And as I was walking out, uh, going to grab my sweatshirt, I thought, hey, there's my Irish hat. So my Halloween costume is Irish tourist. What are you, Sean? Can I guess? You can try. George Washington. Not close. I am a Judge Washington. Is this home of the Wicked Witch? Home. Are you the Wicked Witch of the West? Yep. Wow. And uh, Craig, where are you? I'm that 80s guy. <laughs> that 80s guy. You are yep. every member of Steel Panther at once. Tim Page, a top fan. What happening? What just fell over? I dropped something. Okay. I think her nose fell off. <laughs> are you casting a spell? <laughs> One lucky punch in the bloodline. Twin turn me out. My. Huh? <laughs> I just skipped that one. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever happened with the turn mail, we'll never know. Now, I got something else here. I got 10 people, but I forgot what it was for. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's do it like uh, Jeopardy. Why don't you read the 10 people and we'll try to figure out what it's for? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Malaka Black, or what is this? Black? It's already off to a great start. Ten people whose names Granny mispronounced. You gotta take it back. You're gonna return the costume. I'm gonna return the hat, the wig, and the cape. I'm gonna have to keep the nose because I snotted in it. <laughs> that's that's big of you, Granny. Goodbye. Bye. I thought this segment was just an atrocity. Thank God Mandy Rose was there, so I had something to look at. This was stupid. A segment that has been discussed to death by now. It is the video showing the elite. They then fade away and turn to dust like Thanos has snapped his fingers. He's still an arrogant prick, and he's still insulting the fans, but he's so damn charismatic that people are still into him and cheering for him. Everybody loves this guy, and so, you know, he can take a jab at him, and they'll cheer him. They're like, yeah, goddammit, he's our asshole. And they want to see him do his shtick, but he was 100% babyface. Brian Danielson versus Sammy Guevara. You know what's amazing about this match in Green? Everything? A lot of fans really don't like Sammy Guevara. So, man, if you are not a fan of Sammy Guevara, this is one to just keep on the DVR and just <laughs> go back and watch whenever you want. I... This was such a violent fucking beating. <laughs> I want to stop this podcast right now and go watch it again. Well, we can't. I know. To be fair, I hated the rankings pretty much from day one. Now they have been done away with. Every champion just defends against whoever steps up that week. Yes. Fucking Moxley and Penta. I mean, going in, I was like, what the fuck? There was no angle. 
There was no reason for this. But when this show was over, it was like, who gives a fuck? I saw Moxley and Penta beat the shit out of each other in a championship match for free. That was awesome. This entire division, every character in it has been stale. It is way, way, way past time to go with this Jamie Heater babyface turn, have her feud with Britt, and win one of these belts. And Shivani asks Taz to explain the significance of the masks to the luchadors, how important that is. And Taz answers the question, and then Excalibur's like, you know, I'm right here, in a mask. <laughs> MJF has said repeatedly that he's the devil, right? Yeah, I said that over and over. And the famous line is, the greatest trick the devil ever played was convincing you that he didn't exist. So, what lengths would the devil go to to convince you that he didn't exist? Well, he'd get his fucking ass kicked by the entire firm. He'd have them beat the shit out of him, put him through the fucking table, light him on fucking fire! He'd do anything to convince you that he does not exist so he can fuck you, because he's the devil. So, in this case... I think I actually would be okay with this all being a plot that involves self-massacre to get over on John Moxley and the fans in the end. Zoe Stark and Nikita Lyons versus Caden Carter and Katana Chance. Zoe rolled up Katana out of nowhere. Excuse me. Zoe rolled up Katana Chance. And so Katana was Katana Chance. His jokes are on his course. Can I stop doing that now? You never had to in the first place. It was funny for a while. But I will. All right. Because her name is Katana Chance! Yes. Pretty deadly. Best part of every show they're on. They're this far apart. They're looking each other in the eye. There's an agonizing tension in the air. And at the same time, they just go, side plate check! And show the side plate to the camera, and they storm off. I love these men. It's a matter of Miracles. Miracles. Toxic attraction are all FaceTiming each other. Then they announce the one year anniversary yes. is next week. It's only been a year. Yeah, I, I, I'm it feels like a generation. That had to have been a typo on their part, though. A mistake they made it through editing. Because clearly, this is the 16 year anniversary of in this title. There's a guy in the crowd who always has signs making fun of the heels. And I think they're intentionally awful. He's holding up, it just says, pretty bad. Sick burn, bro. Sick burn. Joe Gacy cannot complete one syllable without me wanting to fast forward. He gets in there and starts to talk about pry and like fast forward. I don't, I don't, I don't need to hear him say I'd. I know he's talking about pride. I don't care. It's uh, the Rock's daughter. For those of you who don't know, everyone pops like they knew her because if, if you, I, everybody in the building knows who she is. Yeah, yeah. At home is another thing. And we get the worst poem I think I've ever heard in my entire life. Let go of all your pain, washing away your deepest fears. Listen with your eyes, speaking with your ears, awaken from the pits you call the dark. Opening up to my soliloquy is just the start. Watch as I come and leave my mark as I plan to rip all of NXT apart. This is horrible. Sincerely, Scripts. I wouldn't even let you get through that on a granny segment. I would have said, just stop. This Ilya Dragunov. He's the greatest. Fucking superstar. Fucking He's superstar. The best. That was an awesome match. Very, very fun show of NXT. Two good shows. Two good shows. So check them out, and we are out of here. <laughs>